Right now we have new numbers. They're showing the homeless crisis only getting worse here in San Diego County with more and more people stuck on the streets. New at 11 here, we are now hearing from the group responsible for that new data and from the San Diego mayor himself, Todd Gloria, CBS 8's Chris Grow, live in Kearney Mesa now sharing what they had to say about this new homeless count. And these were some surprising numbers here, Chris. And the results of the survey paint a pretty bleak picture. We are talking about more than 10,000 people surveyed as experiencing homelessness. That's a 22% increase from last year. It includes all of San Diego County. Now we did speak with Tamara Kohler with the regional task force on homelessness. And in our conversation, we asked her about issues like mental illness as well as uh, drug addiction, alcohol addiction. And she says that all of that is taken into consideration when they're speaking with those who are experiencing chronic homelessness because they all compound on top of each other. Take a listen to her response. You can imagine if you're experiencing homelessness in those really difficult conditions, it's going to increase and exasperate any mental health issues. Uh, you know, a lot of people self-medicate use of substance. We have heard from folks experiencing homelessness that if they didn't have a problem before, it definitely becomes a problem the longer that they're experiencing homelessness. And so what they'll tell you and, and even admit in these surveys is that this is not the complete picture, that this is essentially uh, just the minimum, if you will. And so 10,000 or so that were counted and was a pretty even split between those currently in shelters and those unsheltered. So about 5,000 a piece within either of those categories. Now, one of the new parts of the survey was the inclusion of Caltrans property where encampments are often found, like those found just off of freeways, like the property that's right here behind us in Kearney Mesa. Now, when surveyed throughout the county, they found more than 600 people on Caltrans property surveyed. And if you do eliminate that number from the count, then we only saw a 14% increase in overall homelessness from last year. So again, it does represent quite a big chunk. Now of those surveyed, 80% claim that they became homeless in San Diego. Now, as many of you know, the city of San Diego is preparing to take drastic action next week on the issue with a vote on a number of different ordinances. That includes a comprehensive shelter strategy, but also an encampment ban, which, is, which has drawn much criticism as well as support. We heard from Mayor Todd Gloria today about the point in time survey results and how that speaks to the need for action. Action. Neither come as a surprise to myself or to anyone else who's seen what's happening on our sidewalks, in our parks, on our sides of our freeways, in our canyons, or along the San Diego River. That's because we know full well that our shortage of affordable housing, the proliferation of illicit fentanyl, as well as our broken mental health system are helping to create a perfect storm that is playing out on our streets. Now, there were some positive takeaways from this survey of those that are families that are homeless. There was a 20% drop off from last year compared to this year. There was also a decrease in the amount of what they what they call transitional youth, those ages 18 to 24. There was a drop off in that as well as seniors that are experiencing homelessness. But either way, still uh, an important issue and one that we are seeing throughout San Diego County and one that the city of San Diego again, as we just pointed out, will be taking up a number of different ordinances June 13th. Next Tuesday, they will be voting on both of those items that we just mentioned. Reporting in Kearney Mesa, I'm Chris Grow for CBS 8. Chris, thanks for that. The city's policies are getting criticism from all sides, really, as this issue is becoming more polarizing and more politicized. CBS 8's Carlo Chiquetto talked with Mayor Gloria, who defended his policies. Take a listen. Unfortunately, most folks decline those services, and when the taxpayers of the city are, as in my proposed budget, going to expend over $200 million to service the homeless, no cannot be an acceptable answer when there are services available. Again, the city is providing a tremendous amount of resources. Other cities that you often will compare us to provide literally no shelter beds, but they're providing the enforcement. That actually is driving people into our city, and that's absolutely unfair. I've seen other mayors go on television and claim that they've ended homelessness in their city, not explaining that they're doing that by putting their homeless people in the city of San Diego for the taxpayers that I work for, that's unacceptable. We're going to build on that a little bit. And there is a group of Republican leaders in the county who are going after the way money is being spent and some of the policies. One is actually running a video on social media and some other places. Let's take a look at part of that real quick. In the past three years alone, the state has spent $10 billion 
But until we change the underlying policies that allow people to live and die on the streets, no amount of money can solve the issue. It's Coronado's mayor running this ad, criticizing the way money is being spent, uh, talking about a county issue, but the video is all city of San Diego. Um, what's your reaction to people saying that the money's not being spent well? It's not being effective. Well, I think it's true when only a few of us are actually doing anything about it. If you're not actually building new housing, particularly affordable housing, if you're not providing homeless services, shelter beds, outreach efforts, then you're actually, I don't know what you're complaining about because you're not spending any money on this issue. Um, we are, and what you're seeing is people coming into our city because we provide those services. That's why the unsafe camping ordinance is very important.